You're a little hangry, Claire. I'm not hangry, Tito. Hungry and angry? You hangry, Claire. <laughs> okay, hangry. That hangry. was a clip from The Boss, one of the newest movies to hit theaters. We actually use that word to describe the kids now. All right, <laughs> so Melissa McCarthy won the fight against Batman and Superman, but did she win Will Loper's heart? Oof. Oof. What do you think? Well, you know, she's as reliable as ever, but yeah. the script around her is what brings the movie down, sadly. So McCarthy, she stars as a titan of industry, Michelle Darnell, who gets jailed for insider trading. Once she's released, she has no family or friends, so she goes to live with her oh. assistant, Claire, played by Kristen Bell. Now, Claire tells Michelle to get back on her feet, so Michelle begins to create her own version of the Girl Scouts, except her version involves brownies instead of cookies. Now, the movie never truly works because it can't make up its mind what it wants to be. Is this a movie <laughs> with characters who get flung against the wall and are okay afterwards? Or is that supposed to be grounded reality? Is it a complete farce with ridiculous situations that are dealt with normally so we don't really need to worry about real world consequences? And is McCarthy, she's supposed to be a real person with emotions or is she more of a cartoon of a character? So the movie doesn't really make up its mind about any of these questions and the boss ends up feeling disjointed <laughs> rather than cohesive. Still, I mean, if you're a big fan of Melissa McCarthy, you're, you'll still find plenty to enjoy. At least one viewing, just maybe don't race to the theater to see it. I love all the turtlenecks. Yes, absolutely. Right. So, yeah. really, this is a testament to Melissa McCarthy's star power. I mean, absolutely. There's been six movies now that she's been in that have opened above 20 million. I think with any other movie, they would have been lucky to reach 10 million with the kind of reviews that the boss is getting. And so it's it's boding well for Ghostbusters. It's coming out in June. So what did you give this? Yeah. I gave this one 2.5 Quatsy Codals out of 5, which is, of course, Melissa McCarthy's spirit animal in the film. All right, so before we get to this next one, we did want to uh, warn people who might have queasy stomachs. Yes. I, I suggested putting down the spicy breakfast sauce. Absolutely. You, yeah. You're definitely going to want to do that. I mean, you, maybe just look away from your television and just listen to the sweet okay. sounds of our voices. I mean, I have a pretty good... Uh, I'm not prone to motion sickness, but this mm -hmm. movie I got really? really sick. So Hardcore okay. Henry is the next movie. It takes place entirely from the first person perspective of a man. Literally, they strapped a GoPro camera to someone's face to make the movie. So the story, oh. is there a story? There's a man, Henry, yeah, exactly. He wakes up in a room with no memory. A woman tells Henry she's his wife, most of his body is robotic now, and soon an evil albino man with telekinesis and 2,000 henchmen are chasing after Henry. Henry starts to run and run and run some more, treating us all to a wonderful shaky camera and making us seriously regret drinking that pot of coffee and eating a bowl of Lucky Charms beforehand. They are magically delicious. <laughs> they are. Can't watch no, this. you can't. You really, really can't. <laughs> so, you know, there is a mm -hmm. tiny bit of originality with Char Charlton Copley's character who continues to show up to help Henry in different outfits, if I can speak. Yeah. But it's nonstop action that you want. You're going to want to go see Crank instead and be spared feeling sick the rest of the day like I was. So what'd you I think it? I'm still trying to get over it. I gave it two out of five powders. Of course, another albino movie character with psycho, psychic powers. Oh my goodness. There we are. Okay, so <laughs> yes, what next. is new for next week? Next week, much like last year's Cinderella, uh -huh. we have Disney's live action oh. remake of The Jungle Book. And so far, reviews are really good for it. Really? So. Mildly. Yeah, well, I heard it's a little bit dark. It's dark. It's kind of scary for kids. Yeah. That's what they're saying. Yeah. So, so okay. maybe not for little kids. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Will. Yep, thanks. thanks. Well.